29 former police officers in Turkey are on trial in Istanbul. They are charged with aiding the failed military coup in July. This is the first trial related to that coup attempt, which led to the deaths of almost 300 people. President Erdogan has accused a network of followers of the US-based cleric Fethullah Gulen of being behind the attempt. Our correspondent in Istanbul is Selin Girit. Selin, thousands of people have been rounded up. What's particular about these former police officers? Well, these 29 police officers are accused of not following the orders given to them on the night of the coup attempt. They are also accused of uh, not protecting uh, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's residence in Istanbul. Uh, they are charged with uh, being members of the Gulenist organization. Our, our audiences might remember Fethullah Gulen is an Islamist cleric uh, based uh, on a self-imposed exile uh, based in uh, Pennsylvania for the uh, last decade and the government accuses him of organizing this coup attempt, a charge that he denies. So these 29 police officers are accused of being members of this Gulenist organization and of attempting to overthrow the government. If convicted, 21 of them will be facing three life sentences and the rest will be facing 7 to 15 years in jail. Is it possible to give an assessment about how independent the Turkish judiciary is? Is this in a civil court, in a government set up court? What's the process? It is a civil court. It is a government set up court. The case will be held in uh, the Silivri prison courthouse, a gigantic courthouse, and uh, it is assumed that hundreds or thousands of people will be tried in that particular court which was founded previously for the Ergenekon trial when uh, top-ranking uh, generals and army officers were tried allegedly by Gulenist prosecutors. Now uh, the headlines in Turkish papers go they have built the court now they are being tried here. Uh, the critics say uh, the purge in Turkey uh, targeting this, uh, allegedly these Gulenists uh, in, that have infiltrated in the state bureaucracy, in the police force, in the army, in the prosecution, etc. Uh, they say this purge has gone beyond its, its limits and it's actually targeting every dissident of, uh, every opponent of the government. But the government says everyone who is detained or uh, being tried, to be tried, are uh, alleged to have links with the Gulenist organization and what they do is actually fair. Very much appreciated, Celine. Celine, thank you very much indeed. Celine Garrett in Istanbul.